Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. And many students were asking me about the Playwright. Uh, what is the major difference between the Playwright and the Selenium, right? And which one should I learn first, right? So in this video, we are going to basically see about the major differences between them, right? We will basically discuss about which one you should prefer, like Playwright or Selenium. Before jumping to the Playwright, what are the things that you should know and what are the different study material that I'm going to attach that so that you can learn both of them in a limited amount of time. And in the end, I'm going to discuss about the criteria to choose your automation framework. And then you can make a choice which one as a fresher or even if you have like two to three years experience and you want to jump into the automation testing, right? Which one you should learn first, right? So in this video, we will cover. So make sure you watch till the end and uh, you can watch the video at 1.5x for a better experience so that you can complete the video and you can completely get what exactly I'm trying to explain. All right. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, let's see the major difference. I think this is uh, one of the important diagram that I have seen where they have explained about the different uh, be between the Selenium, Cybrus and Playwright, right? Let's go one by one. All right. So uh, I think I have already explained about the difference between Selenium, Cybrus. Uh, let me pull up my marker. Yeah. Selenium, Cybrus and Playwright in one of my videos, previous videos, right? I will put a link in the description so that you can watch it. But uh, if you know, Selenium is basically a suite containing different tools like IDE, a uh, basically a library or a tools which basically allow you to have automate your browsers, right? And it basically contains Selenium Grid also, right? So Selenium is basically con you can say it's a consist it consists a suite which contains like three more tools which will help you to automate the browsers, right? Whereas if you see Sel uh, Playwright, right? And Playwright uh, basically it's a if you see it's a open source node based system, right? It's a node node based framework where it will basically help you to do the end-to-end -end testing very similar to the Selenium that provides, right? It, it also automate the browser. But in Selenium, the major difference was Selenium, uh, basically whatever the code that you write, right? It will basically communicate through browser with the drivers, right? We had a drivers in between them, which will help you to basically communicate with the browsers if you want to basically simulate any kind of experience, right? So in Playwright, what they had done is they are right now, instead of drivers, they are directly communicating with the browser APIs, right? Similarly, I think we have seen the puppeteer automation, right? So the same team, uh, which right now, basically right now, uh, handled by Microsoft, this project is handled by Microsoft, which basically now are leveraging the WebKit uh, to basically automate the Safari, uh, Chrome, as well as the Gecko driver, which is Firefox in nature, right? So if you see, Selenium is widely used. This is very modern po point. And it supports major languages like Java, Ruby, Perl, C Sharp. I mean, almost all the languages are supported in Selenium, right? Here, if you see. Uh, Play Playwright is also open source. It's uh, It basically supports all the modern rendering engines like Chromium, WebKit, and Firefox. So it's you can automate uh, your browsers uh, basically related to Chrome, uh, Safari and the Firefox, right? So majorly most of the browsers you are covering here, right? Uh, testing the mobile and you can basically emulate the mo mobile also by basically the Google Chrome that you want to emulate, right? For example, if you emulate, if you want to emulate the Google Chrome on Android, Safari and other things that you can, so you can leverage the Playwright also, right? Where you have a hard time doing it in the Selenium, right? Uh, it also supports ma majority of the languages and it's very, uh, you can say, uh, it is useful for very complex uh, application. So right, right now, let me tell you very, diff uh, very important point. Okay. Selenium and Playwright, right? If you see, Playwright is basically made mostly, most of the time, uh, whenever you find a modern applications, modern end-to-end -end application automation, right? What are the modern application? I think I have explained in the previous video also. Modern applications are, for example, single page applications, which application made in React, Angular and all, right? Those applications behave in a certain way where we they have asynchronous nature mostly, right? Where Selenium many times have a hard time. You have to introduce lots of weights and other things to basically support that, right? In Playwright, it basically do the automation. I mean, it basically handles all the things, the asynchronous, asynchronous nature of the website. Okay, so this is clear for you, right? If you see, uh, let's see the diagram right here. If you see tablet solution, I think Selenium, uh, both of them are yes. Our reporting, Selenium doesn't have any kind of reporting where Playwright you can have. 
right it suppose just another test runners also both of them supports right if you see no static weights right playwright doesn't have a static weight because it handles automatically most of the things you can do parallel execution in both of them and video recording you can do that in selenium also using third party libraries to support more so if you see it's a kind of you can say playwright as more feature or almost equal or plus some advanced features than the selenium right so for a, a fresher right let me make it myself a little big so for a fresher it looks like a very important choice right if i am a fresher then i should le start learning playwright right so this is uh, where the things come in i mean now let's jump to the important point which is this one let me show if you see playwright is a playwright is fairly new and lack the support on various level like community browsers re real devices language options and integrations so this is where which is very very important uh, let me make it myself little big pay attention to the point which i am basically explaining here right many student many new students are telling me that these things but this is very important for example suppose you have joined a new, a company where they want a stable uh, stable automation for a uh, for example like 500 sks servers right now traditionally you should choose selenium because it's more stable uh, it's more stable in nature right everyone knows about it everyone is comfortable with selenium most of the errors or probably the new things that you are going to face are already handled because selenium is there for more than 8 9 years right where whereas playwright is very very new and it lacks in support uh, there are real devices issues uh, i mean selenium also doesn't have any kind of real devices but language options integration but you will be the first person who will be facing these kind of issues in the playwright for example i remember when cybrus was launched right people started using cybrus and after that there was uh, there was a couple of limitations and there were many many limit limitations in the cybrus that they were not able for example multi tab and other things which they are still still struggling out so a stable company it is very important that you should choose a stable automation suite which can automate your browsers right that's why many people still say that selenium is mature and it is widely used in the company and for for a complex scenario probably a playwright offers more uh, effective solution but since selenium is present from the uh, like last 8 year 9 years and it has almost all the problem that you have basically going to encounter are already solved or if they are not solved then you are will not able to probably do it in a playwright also right so that's where you need to pay attention i hope this is clear i hope this is uh, clear for you guys right let's understand before jumping to the playwright i'm just saying uh, saying the same point here playwright is a relatively a new player many companies are still evaluating it completely generally avoid the new player this is true okay and now let's come to the important point the two important point which is study material i think where you can find the more details i think these three articles are you know where they have compared the playwright with selenium and other things you should go through it and uh, basically read more about it okay let's uh, jump to the five import important points which i think you should know right uh, criteria it's basically a criteria for a automation tools which basically says that uh, documentation point of view if you say from a documentation point of view both of them are great history point of view i think selenium has a great advantages because advantage because almost 8 years uh, selenium is there support for selenium is good uh, i mean already many many questions are already answered on this stack overflow so uh, good to know team knowledge i think most of the people if you have like 3 years 4 years experience people who are going to join your company probably in some future or something they are more comfortable in selenium yes my advice will be yes you should ev evaluate the playwright if it serves the purpose if you, it serves the all the purpose for you you can go through it or you can uh, basically uh, try to implement it or use it but before for us i think we are sticking up with the selenium because of support documentation team knowledge multiple languages and the most we don't want to be the first person to face the issues whatever uh, probably they are coming with a new player in the market okay so those things is my advice and to be honest in one of the project we are using playwright we have done the poc and it worked very well so we have separate repo for a playwright also. so yes we have also added the playwright into our automation uh, okay we have a strong selenium framework also where we are running with 10000 test cases and very minor number of test cases uh, which we is because we are still evaluating right we are also learning on the playwright okay eventually we will start uh, doing the migration whenever we feel uh, we are more comfortable 
okay so that's all about this guys i hope you like this video and i hope you have loved the uh, difference between the uh, playwright and the selenium and as a fresher i hope you have now clarity which one you should choose right and based on the uh, programming language support and everything i think both of them are comparable it's up to you where you want to basically learn i think both of them you can learn if you are comfortable all right thanks for watching this video make sure you give us a like and subscribe if you want more videos like this type more videos in the comment and i will be happy to create those videos where we will generally compare the tools so that you can understand and you can learn which one uh, are great for your career and part a uh, career in the future all right thanks a lot for watching this video i'll see you in the next video this is your host pramod and you are watching testing academy bye